Following on from the previous video, our aim is to be able to find out the gradient at any given point on this function here. So suppose you have a function f of x here, and any any other point on, on the line, let's just say a here. We want to find out the gradient at a, and the way we do that is to set up another point, let's say capital B, and then and then work out the gradient of, of this line here. Um, but the thing is, we, we then move B closer and closer towards A. So suppose B is here, we would then work out the gradient of, uh, of this line here. Okay? And, and the thing is, we, we set up B, and then we, we move B closer and closer towards A. Okay? So, 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 um, so B is approaching A each time. So suppose B is around here, then it's you working out the gradient of this line here. But then, but, but then as B gets closer and closer to A, it becomes accurate, it becomes very accurate, it becomes the, the tangent at, uh, it becomes the, the tangent line of A, at A here. So, so the trick is to set up a point here, B, and then move B closer and closer towards A. Okay, so, so let's, let's say B is somewhere around here. Okay, so let's be, let's say B is right here. Now, our aim is to find out the gradient of this line here. So here you've got yourself a, um, a right angle triangle here. So this here is your right angle triangle here. Okay, so, so our aim is to find out the gradient of this line. Well, the gradient of this line is really this height here, okay, um, divided by this length here. Okay, so, so let's just say A here, um, let, let's just say at the moment this point is at X. Now we the way we get B to move closer and closer towards A is for us to to uh, to to uh, let, to call this length here H. Okay. The way we get B to move closer towards towards A is for us to to decrease H each time. You will see what I mean later on. Okay. So so if if you if you want to move B to here, then then you would then set up H to be this length here. And then later on, decrease h. h around here, that would take you to this point. Well, you see what I mean later on. So, so let, let's just call this length here h. Okay. So, um, so hang on. So, let, at, at this point here, if, if we say that this here is x, this point here is x. So, when, you see, you've got a function here. You've got a function here. When you put, let, 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 let's just say this point here is 2. Okay? If you want to know the height of this thing here, you would then put the number 2 into, into, the, um, into the function here. And then that would then immediately take you to, to this height here. Okay? So, so, you, so if, you want to know the, if you want to know this height here, you would then put this into the function. And that, well, basically, the coordinates at, at this point here, at this point here would be, well, from here to here would be x. Okay, so the coordinate, the coordinates here at this point here will be x comma. Well, if you want to know the height here, well, the height would be you putting this into the function. So the height would be would be would be this f of x. Okay, so 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 the coordinates here will be x, and the height here will be f of x. Okay, so it's, it's pretty much you putting whatever this number is into the function, and then the whole thing here will represent the height, will represent this height here. Well, we want to find out the gra gradient of this, so we need this height here. So the height here will be, um, the height here will be, let me think, sorry, um, uh, this here is x, this here is h. Okay, so, so this point here, this point here will be, will be x plus h. Okay, so, so if x is here, then, then from here to here will be x plus h. Okay, remember, we are, we are calling this length here h. So, so if x is here, then, then this point here will be x plus h. Now, now this is our, our point here. Well, if we want to know this height here, if we want to know this height here, we would then put this number here, which is x plus h, into, into this bit here. So my point here is that this whole length here will be, don't forget, this is x plus h here. Um, 
if we want to know this whole height here, it would be, well, this whole height here would be um, f of x plus h. <clears throat> okay, so so now, so, so f of x plus h would be this whole length here. But the thing is, we want to find out the gradient. So the gradient, we would need this this height here. Well, this height here would be um, would be f of x plus h. Take away this height here. Well, this height here is f of x. Remember, because because this bit here is is, um, is x. So if you want another height, then we, you would put this into this function here. That that would well, the height here would be x plus h. Um, don't forget the whole, well, let, let me start again here. This whole height here is um, f of x. This height here will be, will be uh, f of x plus h. Okay, don't, don't forget, this uh, from here to here is h. We, we manufactured this h. We, 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 we deliberately created this h here. It's just, it's just a technique that we use. Okay, we deliberately created this this length here, this h here. So, um, so hang on, let me start again. So this bit here will be f of x. This height here will be um, f of x plus h. Now, if you want to know this height here, it, it, just this height here, it would be this take away this. Okay. Well, in order for us to find out this, uh, the in order for us to find out the gradient of this line here, we will need this length here. Well, this length here. Will be uh, f of x plus h take away f of f of x. Okay, so basically it's me getting this length, taking away this length, and what's left will be this length here. Well, oops. Well, this this length here is basically um, is basically f of x plus h take away um, take away uh, uh, f of x. Okay, so let me start again here. So this length here, the height here, will be will be um, f of x plus h take away f of x. So this here is uh, is this height here. Now we need to then divide it by uh, by this length here. Well, this length here, remember, from here to here, we 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 call it h. So basically, the gradient of this bit here would be would be this thing divided by h divided by this length here which is h okay so so well the the gradient of this thing here would be this length which is uh, f of x plus h take away um, take away this le this height here which is f of x and then we've got to divide it by by uh, this length here by the the, uh, the the horizontal length here which is h. So the gradient of this line here is basically this. Okay? And and the thing is we we're gonna move B closer and closer towards um towards A. So now let's let's look at it. Let's look at us moving towards towards A. Well in the next video I I will move B closer and closer to um to A. Okay so so we started here Okay, and then and then we we managed to come up with a way of working out the the gradient of this line here. But the the thing is, we we're going to move b. So we started b. We started out as b being here, and then we're going to move b closer and closer towards towards a. Okay, and then and then and so on here. I will elaborate more of it, more on this on in the next video. But but the the important part of this video is that the the gradient of um, of this line here is given by this height divided by this length here. Okay? I will continue in the next video.